Hi, I'm here to show you how to use the template that was created by Kelly Backlund and myself to uh, help you gather your data for your PLCs and also to use that data uh, and pr to present that data in a, an attractive and easy to use form. The best way to access this template is going to be to go to the technology wiki at benningtontech.wikispaces.com. On the left hand side in the navigation you'll see a link to tools. If you click on that link for tools, see we've got a Google Drive templates for Bennington resource page here. Uh, if you want to see all of the templates that are available through Google Apps for our district, you can click on the top link. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this one with the pre-test and post-test data. This is going to link us directly to the template. When I click on that, you'll see a little preview of what it looks like. If I want to use it, then I'm going to click on this button right here that says use this template. Now we've created a copy of that document with all of the formulas and everything in it. All of the data and information is ready for us to add. First thing that we want to do though is we want to change the name of this. When we want to change or when we're changing the name of our documents we want to make sure that we have some sort of descriptive title. So uh, we want to make sure that we know what it is that we're putting in here. I am just going to call this beginning of the year test. Okay, so now we've got our spreadsheet is named and we're ready to go. In this box right here where it says teacher, you want to put in your name. So I'm going to put in my name. Uh, the rest of these boxes up here are going to be uh, self-populating. So you don't need to do anything with the above level, on level, or below level, or the pre-test scores right here, or the post-test scores right here. All you need to do is adjust the number of possible points for that activity. So I have a number of possible points. I'm going to say that there are 20 possible on this pre-test. And then my post-test, I'm going to say this has 25 possible points, just so you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. Now, for your student names, you should have a roster that you've already created. An easy way to do this is just to keep something in your, in your drive. I have mine right here, so I'm going to click on my class roster. I'm going to select all of my names. I'm going to copy them, go back to my other spreadsheet, and paste them. Now I've got this part of my spreadsheet all set up. You'll notice that I've got a couple of extra slots down at the bottom. Uh, these empty slots will not affect your formulas up here at the top, so don't worry if you don't use all of those slots. Uh, don't, uh, don't delete any additional data down here that you don't need. Um, it's, it's not going to hurt the calculations if you leave it there, but it may mess things up a little bit if you try to, um, if you try to delete them. So keep those intact. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to come up with some random numbers um, for our data, and you'll see as I enter it in, um, my chart over here on the right-hand side of my screen is populating, and all of that information is getting put in there. So um, we have we have everything. The cal the percents are calculated automatically. Uh, it's notifying us of where um, where they're where they're at as far as um, as far as uh, meeting expectations or where they should be with all of this. So I'm just going to take all of these and actually just populate that down. Oh goodness, that was terrible. So let's delete those and instead I'm going to just start typing in random numbers. So just bear with me and we have to do less than our total. So we'll do that for So what this is doing is, as we're entering in our data, it is checking this information against uh, what we have set up on a separate spreadsheet that tells us um, where they where they're at as far as the expectations and the percents that they're that they're given. So we can use this as a way to identify which students are on level, which ones are below, um, and very quickly and easily um, get our get our information in to um, into the into the system. So. Okay, so you'll see we have our pretest information is already populated. We're all set there. 
And if you look at our chart, our topic pretest chart over here, see we've got a real quick and easy reference of who's above level, on level, and below level. I can very quickly see how my students are doing with everything in here. And it's all percent is based, uh, is calculated based on the number of possible points right up here. And the number that I put in here, the number that they got correct. Then as these amounts are calculated here in this column, your, uh, you have indications that are color coded based on what is going on with your, with your students. If they're on level, it'll be green. If they're above level, it'll be blue. And if they're below level, it'll be red. Same thing will happen with our topic post test. So if we do our post test, okay, so we have made up numbers here for our post test. And if we go over here to the right, see we've got our handy dandy chart. This tells us how our students are achieving and overall gives us an idea of what they look like. Now if you need to change your parameters for what is on level, below level, and above level, you can click on sheet 2 and change these values right here in the B column. Um, and it's very important that you don't change the A column, just the B column. So if above level starts at, uh, starts at 80 uh, at 80 percent, then we just want to take our on level, grab this box in the corner, move that up here, and now uh, the, that changes those values. If I go back to my sheet, you'll see that anything that's 80 percent or above is going to show that it's above level, but if it is below 80 percent, then it'll show as on level. So we can adjust our parameters like that. All of this is automatically computed. It's all done automatically as you as you make changes. It is all saved, uh, and you are you are ready to go. When you are finished working on it, you can simply close out of the tab. It shows up in your roster right or in your documents list right here as the beginning of the year test. And I can open this up again and take a look at my information and um, share my data from here. So, very easy tool, simple to use. Hopefully, this helps you in your PLCs and in your um, and in your meetings and uh, helps you identify the needs of your students and how you can best help them. If you have any questions. You can certainly let me know.